नमस्ते वेलकम टू ए आई सी टी इन साइट अ डाइवर्स शो ऑन इनोवेशन एजुकेशन स्टार्टअप एंटरप्रनोरशिप एंड मच मोर टू बिगिन विद लेट मी अपडेट यू विद न्यूज ऑफ द डे वेल द ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन हैज लॉन्च द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ द इन्वेंटर्स चैलेंज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टूडे दैट इज ऑन फिफ्थ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर द चैलेंज इज लॉन्च इन एसोसिएशन विद आर्म लिमिटेड एंड एस टी एम माइक्रो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स Since 2022, AICTE and both these organizations have joined their hands together to organize this challenge. So today we have a very special guest with us to make you understand what an inventors challenge is, what is the purpose of organizing this challenge, and the aim behind this. So introducing you with Miss Apurva Verma. Thank you, Nisha. Welcome, ma'am. She is a senior regional manager academic engagements at Arm Education Bengaluru. Welcome to the show ma'am. So my first question to you would be could you brief our audience with the concept of the Inventors Challenge 2024 how this challenge began and what was the plan behind organizing it? All of you are aware of uh, you know the government's push towards the India Semiconductor Mission. Uh, you are also aware that in the coming years we need skilled workforce uh, we need innovators who can contribute to the uh, you know economy of the world and inventors challenge which has been launched in association with aict arm arm uh, limited and st is uh, our very small effort towards building those uh, capabilities uh, kind of enabling innovation among engineering uh, students um, so uh, why where did we start this from uh, is what you're asking and uh, i would say that you know we we were, we started with uh, faculty workshops uh, we were uh, we were getting uh, you know faculty give us ideas on what they could do uh, in the space and then uh, it kind of hit us that you know why only faculty why not students and uh, i think they are the ones who are going to be the future innovators of the world uh, so th that's when the concept uh, you know was being discussed and then we launched it as part of the workshops which we were doing which we were doing in 2022 and yes inventors uh, challenge came into existence um, and uh, when uh, when we launched it also the thought process was that uh, Uh, we want to kind of uh, get student excited about the uh, various technologies in the semiconductor space we want uh, them to understand that it is not difficult to be an innovator and uh, any idea that they have in mind to convert uh, you know uh, any anything that comes into their mind right and um, uh, which they feel has a solution uh, and uh, that can make a difference in the society we wanted uh, engineers uh, who are undergoing their courses it's not difficult it's easy and i think that, that was the first barrier for us in terms of saying that you know can you get excited about creating something nice uh, something which will help society and this was uh, our efforts towards uh, those uh, you know um, i i would say efforts towards building or nurturing those abilities in the engineering students uh yes we did the first year second year was uh, in 2023 we saw uh, you know that the passion which uh, with uh, students came in and uh, uh, displayed showed their ideas uh, you know converted them into a working prototype and uh, felt that yes they are able to actually come out with a solution which can help you know thousands of people uh, you know ease their uh, life and that was the reason that we continue doing what we are doing uh, with aict and st okay ma'am could you please elaborate what are the specific roles of arm and st microelectronics and aict in this specific challenge what are the roles they are playing what are the facilities they are providing as an individuals and what are their contribution towards this challenge uh, so i wouldn't call uh, you know the differentiate between aict st and arm we are all together in this and uh, it's like you know each one is uh, filling up uh, you know the uh, the bigger puzzle and uh, anything uh, if it moves out from uh, that puzzle is uh, you know the whole uh, in contest will fall flat so 
there is no piece here which is not important each one is playing a, uh, a role uh, uh, which is contributing to the overall uh, you know uh, contest uh, but if i have to specify i think aict comes with that expertise reach of you know and a vision to actually make a difference in the student's life and uh, that's how you know uh, uh, they putting together a team uh, we are they are part of the start uh, you know kind of discussing what needs to get in uh, in terms of the contest concept itself how we can uh, help students you know better their abilities and skills um, and then arm has been uh, the main driving force behind this uh, you know contest and uh, we have been um, you know uh, uh, working with both aict and st in terms of you know uh, putting this uh, uh, whole contest concept together uh, st is supporting us with uh, technical expertise developer boards from their end uh, we have evaluators from all all uh, all the sides from academia from arm um, from st who are kind of uh, uh, evaluating the ideas that are being received as part of this contest and uh, getting the best uh, to showcase uh, their ideas uh, and uh, prototypes uh, during the finals uh, so i think each one plays a very very important role uh, and uh, i would maybe say that um, all of them coming together is a great example um, uh, for uh, for india because there is nothing like uh, like this where government academia uh, industry all of them are you know uh, with one vision that we want to bring about a change in the students life we want them to get excited about the technologies we want them uh, to believe in themselves uh, say uh, believe in themselves in terms of their ability to convert uh, idea into actually a working prototype yeah so basically all three are working together to make an yes. india a semiconductor build a semiconductor ecosystem for india so ma'am last two editions were very hit i mean a lot of participants took part in the inventors challenge but what about next what's their focus how what's the further opportunities for the participants or for the winners after they compete in the inventors challenge what's there uh, for uh, for them in the next episode so uh, in the last two years also what we have done is um, you know we uh, we provided them with uh, technical support we provided them uh, you know i think one of the major things we did is to kind of build their abilities okay. in understanding the technology and like i said you know converting their idea into a prototype mm. that itself is a huge learning because uh, they understood that they can be innovators and it's not uh, it's not difficult it's it's very easy so that's one contribution but we also have been doing a lot of uh, tech sessions again towards building abilities we exposed them to uh, career opportunities in the semiconductor space we've got uh, you know leaders from arm we got leaders from st uh, actually do a session with these uh, students get them to understand the kind of roles that exist how that roles actually contribute to the product development okay. and uh, uh, once we did that we also uh, got respective talent acquisition uh, you know uh, uh, experts uh, from both the organizations uh, talk to them about you know how how uh, they can kind of you know uh, uh, if they're interested in a role in arm or st how do they go about uh, nice. Uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, helped these students uh, you know understand um, you know okay this is my future or this is where, this is something which i want to uh, go for uh, once the contest or once they finish uh, their engineering over and above that uh, this year uh, the difference you asked me what is that yeah. uh, they going to be exposed to is uh, we have uh, you know spoken to a talent acquisition team and we are making uh, this possible where all the semi finalists go through the same bit of understanding about careers understand speaking to the leaders understanding from the leaders but also opening up opportunities for them to apply uh, for internship at arm mm -hmm. they will go through the process uh, they will uh, you know uh, uh, you know apply get screen and if they're eligible uh, they can be interns at arm so that is something which we are doing over and above uh, you know what we had done in the past
maybe after internship they'll get opportunity also yes <laughs> working at all uh, yes right? i think it's all about uh, them okay. i think coming into the contest uh, they've shown that they have passion they would want to learn they would want to kind of contribute to the semiconductor e ecosystem and that's the starting point i think they have a long way to go yeah. and um and uh, you know the various semiconductor organizations which exist mm. uh, yes uh, they, they can have be a the part whole, of yes yeah, they, they the, the whole uh, you know the world is opening up to them true ma'am you have highlighted a lot about the inventors challenge I, it would be very nice if you'll just highlight the important dates of this challenge so that it will be a help for our participants to know ki what are the last date mm -hmm. to apply for this challenge uh, if you can please yeah. so nisha we have launched it today so okay, today yeah. is 5th march so this idea submission starts from today itself um we will be giving you uh, giving students that is faculty and the uh, student okay. teams uh, uh time till 30th of april okay. uh, and uh, they can submit their ideas once the ideas are submitted uh, we will be uh, uh, getting in evaluators from across this is something which we are working on and there will be evaluators from uh, st from arm from aict who will go through all the ideas we have a criteria uh, and the criteria is available on arm community uh students before submitting the idea can go through the criteria and then see how they will be evaluated assessed uh and the evaluation evaluation team which is there will go through each of these ideas uh, see how uh, you know how they fared in mm -hmm. terms of putting it across um and uh, we will be uh, announcing the semi finalists and the semi finalist numbers will be around 100 to 150 teams uh once this uh, semi final teams uh, teams are announced i think we're looking at uh, you know uh, 6th june okay. as the date uh, the for week the of semi, uh, semi, semi final announcement okay. uh once the semi finals uh, you know teams are announced all of them will receive uh, the development boards and kits from aict site which has been given by st um and then uh, after post that uh, you know you will start uh, prototyping the idea has been given mm -hmm. now the actual work starts where they convert their idea into a working prototype uh, for which in the interim as they are, as they receive boards we will be doing a lot of sessions to help them familiarize uh, with uh, the boards they have received so that you know the conversion of a pro idea into a prototype becomes easy for them it will be you know continuously done over the next uh, few weeks starting uh, you know august uh, from june to august i would say Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, uh, comes a, a stage where we will uh, ask the se uh, teams to submit a video of their prototype okay uh, we want to see where they are is there any help that they require is there anything else they can do to what they are actually working on and once that is done um, uh, you know if there are there is feedback to be given we would do that Uh, we would uh, expect them to work on that feedback and actually uh, come and demonstrate their prototype uh, and be planning to do the demonstration at ST Noida campus okay. uh, we want would want all the 150 teams to come and demonstrate it uh, there uh, they will be going through another round of uh, evaluation uh, by judges from AICT ST as well as arm and um, the final winners will be announced in the last week of september so prototype demonstration judging uh, by the team by the evaluators uh, and the award ceremony will be done on the same day okay. and uh, that september. is uh, so that is expected to be end of september so grand finale is expected to be in september yes well that's really nice thank you so much ma'am for joining me in this show and elaborating everything so patiently your insights about the inventor challenge will surely be helpful for our uh, participants thank you once again thank you thank you nisha